And hello everybody, welcome back to the channel guys, I hope you're all well. Before we do get into today's video, as always, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Rangers content. Guys, we're in the middle of the international break, Rangers still not involved in action until sort of next weekend, still got about nine days to go until we see the boys back in action again as we take on Aberdeen at Batordry. And sort of naturally down around this sort of time, of course, in an international break, things are fairly quiet. Um, in today's video, we haven't got anything sort of major to discuss. Um, however, there is a few different announcements. There's a few bits and pieces with regards to Rangers, uh, of course, which we'll keep you up to date with in today's video. Uh, but starting with the first one, Rangers have launched a new initiative training exchange with RB Leipzig by sending three young players to the German side to train with them. The Ibrox outfit are looking for new ways to bring through academy prospects into the first team and have launched the training exchanges as a part of their high potential player program. And the first of those saw three players as well as a talent development coach Karen Cam Cameron Campbell head to the Red Bull Academy for two days of training. The players were given the opportunity to experience a different culture and train at the Champions League club who have some of the best facilities in Europe. The club felt it was a good opportunity to give the youngsters new experiences and Campbell admitted it was important to get them out of their comfort zone and experience being in a multicultural dressing room with Rangers youth teams often British dominated. Um, he told the official Rangers website it was a really intense trip which we planned on having we really lived the experience and we went on there and it was definitely eye-opening we wanted to maximize every single minute as much as we could which the boys found quite tough but hopefully really rewarding as well. We picked two days where the under-19 squad, which compete in the UA for Youth League, had double training sessions. We're aware that in academy football, as players transition up the age groups, the dressing room doesn't change a lot of times, with the exception of one or two players. If you look at the makeup of our squad, it's very British-dominated, so putting them into the dressing room full of Germans, Icelandics, all these various nationalities, they have to learn to cope with being uncomfortable, which is something we hope, hope accelerates their learning. We want to speak about future proofing players a lot we want these players to be ready for the first team as soon as possible but realistically the boys that we took on the trip still have around 12 to 18 months before they'll be ready for the first team um so yeah uh, rangers uh, youth players of course using this time to go away and be a part of the sort of initiative training um to go and see sort of different cultures and of course this trip send them go to rb leipzig in other news rangers have become the first scottish club to be a part or take on or set to take on um and be a part of a gap gambling um, education sessions. Of course, there's been a lot made about sort of footballers in gambling recently with um, the sort of Sandro Tonali thing happening down there in the Premier League. And it's a very interesting subject because um, football is dominated by gambling companies in terms of advertisements, shirt sponsors and all the rest of it. But players aren't allowed to gamble, especially not in gambling on football related things. And it's been said that a lot of former players, a lot of current players are quote unquote addicted to gambling. So this course um, will be uh, taught to deliver a service based on lived experience through sessions. That is the first of its kind in Scotland. Players and staff or rangers will take part in groundbreaking independent gambling education sessions delivered by Epic Risk Management and designed especially for top level sports people with the aim of facilitating a healthy relationship with the sector. This is the first time a club in Scottish Premiership has worked with a company such as Epic to properly provide independent gambling guidance to their employees and follows Epic work in the EFL and other leagues across the world. Sessions will be bespoke, tailored to individual needs and feature insights from former players who have experienced gambling related issues, including some who have played at the international level. The men's first team, B team and women's teams will participate. Selected academy cohorts will also take part separately. Um, so yeah, that's quite interesting obviously to try and keep the players educated with regards to the whole gambling sector. And as I did state on recently as well, obviously Sandro Tonali, he did face a lengthy, lengthy ban. He's not going to be playing football to the end of the season. So something that um, if can be caught early is, 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 is very good and as I said I'm not too sure with regards to our players but certainly the education there for the players um, is a good thing. Now in other news, of course, as well, there has been an article from Football Insider basically stating that Rangers stars uh, transformed at Akinhawi. Clement plans to blow Celtic away. This is what the article had to say. Felipe Clement is pushing his Rangers stars extremely hard during the international break as he looks to transform their fitness and help them reach a new physical levels at the training centre. The Ibrox boss is said to have implemented individually tailored fitness programs for the players who remain in Glasgow during the two-week break to get them fitter and sharper for the pre-Christmas programme. 
Uh, the those players that are on international duty have also been afforded just two or of a maximum three days off, depending on the intensity of their match schedule prior to the international break. Uh, the Belgian is confident that the gap between Rangers and Celtic can be bridged if the squad's returned uh, to the club fitter and stronger. He identified fitness or the lack of it among the first team squad and key areas to improve since his arrival at Ibrox. The Jazz remain unbeaten so far, as we said, since Clement's arrival and will have narrowed the gap to Celtic by five points um, if they they win their Scottish Premiership match in hand. Um, as I said, the club did enter the international break with a convincing 2-0 win over Livingston. Um, and as I said, goals from Cyril Dessis and James Tavernier. Clement has brought a welcome change in the fortune at Ibrox after Michael Bill's wretched opening to the new campaign as he paves a way to push Celtic all season. Um, yeah, again, this is uh, sort of, not, well, not as much as a surprise, but um, we did seem under, after Gerrard sort of left Rangers, we were sort of unfit. Yes, we did have that spring left in us um, for the Europa League campaign that was sort of Gerrard's uh, getting them up to that sort of level Gio didn't really he kind of emphasised on them doing their own individual programmes and I'm not sure what Michael Bill did but we kind of still looked off it physically um, so it's good to see Clement has identified those situations and is making a change with regards to those uh, situations as fitness is key and I remember we were really really fit Rangers um, that was when we were sort of our best so yeah good to see Clement is implementing that change and I'm really excited to see what he does over this two week period if there is going to be more sort of um, stuff implemented onto the players um, and we get to see it after that international break against Aberdeen um, now lastly guys just to finish up of course as I said January transfer window is still a little bit away um, however there is a kind of talk with regards to uh, Rangers trying to land uh, Lawrence Shankland um, of course he's been in really good form of course doing well for the national team yesterday um, but also it's being dubbed as well that Celtic should make a move for him as well and it's stated that both Rangers and Celtic are sort of interested and have um, reaffirmed uh, attention on the player and as I say former Celtic players are trying to push for the club to sign Shankland the one thing that will work out in our favour is if it's out the two um, Shankland is actually a Rangers fan so um, that would bode well with us but it remains to be seen whether we're actually going to be making a move for him but we do need to make a move in that striking department, as I do feel we are lacking options most definitely. So, um, yeah, good to see on that regard. Um, but as I said, still a little long way to go till the January transfer window actually opens. Uh, but Rangers fans, that's all I've really got for you today, guys. As I said, a very, very quiet day. Um, just a few different bits and pieces with regards to the sort of RB Leipzig training initiative, uh, the sort of the players going to be going on that gambling thing. And then of course, what Clement's doing behind the scenes during this international break to make us uh, and get us better to close the gap to Celtic. Uh, but Rangers fans, let me know your thoughts on Clement's start so far down in the comment section below. Um, and do you think we can win the league title this year? Yes or no? Let me know down there in the comments. That brings us to the end of today's video. As always, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Rangers content. Thank you, and I'll see you all next time. Take care. Peace.